Jill Baird. This is Fiona, the world's laziest assistant. Welcome to my garage gym and welcome to our 30 minute upper body strength focused intermediate to advanced workout. Don't be scared off if you're a beginner. You can use lighter dumbbells and I will offer modifications, but I just want you to be aware that there is quite a bit of up and down movement throughout the workout. So we'll be doing some exercises standing and then the next might be on the floor and then the next might be standing again, which is something to factor in if you are just starting out. Um, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the bell icon below. Give the video a thumbs up. Please share it with anyone that you think might enjoy it. Let's build the subscriber base and have more of a large workout community who are doing these videos with us. I have three different sets of dumbbells for today's workout. I have a 12 pound um, set, a 10 pound set, and a five pound set. But of course, I'm only offering the suggestions. You are making the decisions about your workout. So you do what is best for your body. We're gonna start out with a warm up. We'll end with a cool down. I hope you can stay for the stretch. We're gonna stretch out all of the muscles that we work in um, the class and um, you know what let's do it um, we're going to start out just with some jumping jacks yes I know it's a low an upper body workout but I just want to get the blood pumping so let's do 10 
reaches for the right shin. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, use your core to pipe your hips. Right hand, left shin. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, switch it out. So as I come into that plank, pressing through my heels towards the wall behind me and pressing my palms into the mat and compressing it away from me. Let's do one more each side. We'll come back to that high plank. Walk your hands back. Find a slight bend in your knees. Come up to standing. And we're going to do a thread, like a hinge and an open. So kind of like a, a swing and then open your shoulders. Stick your butt back. Open up your shoulders. Squeeze your butt as you come up. Thumbs facing up. And we're here for four, three, two, and one. So it's a short and sweet warm up today. If you need more of a warm up, please take it. If you need a drink of water, now is a great time to grab a sip. And I am going to get our timer started so that we can get ready for our first move. We're actually going to start down on the ground with a push up. So come into that high plank, top of the push-up. Remember, you can always do these from your knees. Inhale. Lower your chest towards the ground. Exhale. Press the ground up and away from you. So the elbows go back at about a 45 degree angle, like you're creating the letter A with your upper body, or with your arms, rather. A triangle between your elbows and your head. But my legs and my butt are also working here. So imagine you're squeezing a yoga block or a little Pilates ball between your upper thighs, which forces you to engage all of the muscles in your legs and in your core so that it's your chest that's isolated and working in the move. Okay. We are going to grab, I'm grabbing my um, 12 pound dumbbells. We're going to do some narrow rows. So bent over, hips back, dumbbells down by your shins, and then pull up like you're pulling up your pants. So keep your head, neck, and spine in one line. And we focus on squeezing at the top and a nice controlled lowering of the dumbbells. Elbows are hugging in towards one another. Exhaling as I lift, pull up those pants. Inhaling as I lower. You can even make that shh sound as you exhale. It engages your core, your pelvic floor. Make sure you're squeezing your butt here. Alright. Next move is a renegade row. So we're coming back into that high plank, top of a push-up. Palms under shoulders. The dumbbells are in my hands. So if you have hex dumbbells, make sure that they're on the flat part as you row. Drawing your elbow along the ribs. Bringing your palm towards your hips. And remember, we don't want to rock side to side here. So if you need to step your feet a little wider, you can step your feet a little wider. Or if you're a beginner, come down onto your knees and row from your knees. I have a slight tuck in my pelvis, so my pubic bone is tilted up towards my chest, towards my chin. Okay, be mindful of your transition. We're coming back up to stand. Engage your core as you stand. And we're going to do wide grip rows, alternate. So again, that nice hinge. And then my palms face back this time. And I'm going to lift one elbow at a time. Again, be mindful to keep your head, your neck, and your spine in one line. I'm not going to lie, I wish there was a dog right now. <laughs> Anyone else have a furry companion that works out with you? I have a little bed set up for her over in the corner, but 
she refuses to use it. Okay, and now we have an up-down plank, commando plank. So back to that high plank top of a push-up position. Shoulders are over wrists. I'm going to lower my right elbow to where my right hand was, left elbow to where the left hand was, press up, and then alternate, lower the left elbow. So think about that engagement in your legs, your butt, and then making sure that you bring that palm right back to that spot where your elbow landed and vice versa. Alternating the side that you start with. Always have the option to do this from your knees as well. Or pull the high plank. Remember, we're only doing each move once. Exhaling as you press up and inhale as you come down. Okay, so you have an option for the next minute to rest or join me for some jumping jacks. We're gonna give our upper body a break and get our heart rate going a bit. I got a flu shot yesterday. My left arm is a little bit sore, I'm not gonna lie, but it does feel better when I am moving and getting that arm active, the blood flowing. So this should feel like a nice little, a little rest for your arms. And then our next set of five exercises will all be down on the ground. We're gonna work our chest and our core a little bit. So we're gonna start out in a glute bridge with a skull crusher. I'm gonna use my 12s again. So feet hip width distance apart, lift the fronts of your hips, elbows stacked over shoulders, and then the butts of the dumbbells come towards the side of your head. And we're continuing to press the tops of your, or the bottoms, the soles of your feet into the mat. And then maintain some space between your chest and your chin. Inhaling as you lower with control, exhaling as you press the dumbbells up. All right, next move is a narrow chest press or tricep chest press. So bring the dumbbells together press them together. You're going to bring your elbows down by your side. Feet either resting flat on the mat. You can have your knees in a tabletop position or you can extend your legs out for a little bit extra core work here. But if you do that, make sure that that low back maintains connection to the mat, right? So you're really pulling that belly button back in and up. But there is no shame in keeping your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. So this is different than a traditional chest press. It works into our triceps a little bit more. And remember that the dumbbells stay over your chest and not your face. Whew, I can really feel that. Okay, we're going to do a single side traditional chest press. So bring both of the dumbbells up directly over your shoulders. Again, feet can be flat or lifted. Actually, I'm gonna start on the left just so you can see. I'm only pressing the left dumbbell. And rather than clanking or bonking the heads of the dumbbells together as I bring that left dumbbell up to meet the right, I'm using some core strength, some additional chest strength to stop the dumbbell. Inhaling as my elbow comes back down to the ground and exhaling as I press that left dumbbell up. And really the more exaggerated you can make that exhale, the deeper your 
going to pull your pelvic floor in, and the deeper you're going to engage your core. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side if you hadn't guessed. So again, feet can be flat on the mat. You can keep your knees bent. And I'm pressing the right dumbbell up to meet the left.
Turn the left palm to face forward and curl the left arm from the hip to the shoulder. And then again, option to lengthen into the leg as you curl. Really hug both outer hips in. Make a point to squeeze the right glute. And if you're lengthening that left leg, then imagine that you're kicking from your heel towards your screen or the wall in front of you. Okay, coming into hammer curls. So palms facing in. Slight, slight bend in the knees, hug your butt in, take an inhale, drop your shoulders down into their sockets, and exhale, the butts of the dumbbells come up to the tops of the shoulders in a slow, controlled inhale. Chest stays nice and tall and proud like there's a string lifting your chest up to the ceiling. Continue hugging those elbows into your side. All right, we have one more move in this little five exercise circuit before we move on to our jumping jack variation. So it's a hinge. Palms are facing forward. Loop your shoulders down into their sockets. And then it's an underhand row. So again, kind of like you're pulling up your pants as you pull the dumbbells towards your hip creases. Maybe hold at the top for a two or three count, and then inhale as you lower for a two or three count. Exhale, lift, chest stays nice and wide, so the collarbones are spread nice and wide. And then do your best to keep your head, neck, and spine all in one straight line. Squeezing my butt. So my legs are working here. I can feel this in my hamstrings and the backs of my legs. Okay, our jumping jack variation this time is a cross front jack. So arms are going to cross, feet are going to cross. If you need a minute rest, you rest for a minute. And it doesn't matter which arm and foot cross as long as you're alternating. So this is a really good chest opener here. Also works to empathize and it never hurts to just get the blood pumping and the heart rate up a little bit, even though it is a strength workout. So if there's something else you wanted to do in this minute, I mean, hold a plank. Do some high knees. You know, you can always do burpees. Hey, that just made me think of something. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, for our last set of exercises here, we have five more. I'm gonna use my light dumbbells. First move, bent arm lateral raise. So, palms face in, elbows bent. You know, I probably could have used my tens here. If you wanna pause, and grab a heavier dumbbell. You can pause and grab a heavier dumbbell. And remember, if you're looking for something a little bit more here, you could always add in alternating reverse lunges or a curtsy lunge. Or if the dumbbells are too much, you can regress the movement without dumbbells making sure that those palms lift in line with your shoulders. Okay, next we're gonna do front raises. So again, slight bend in the knees, shoulders loop down and back, chest is proud, 
to your thighs. Exhale. So your core is really working here, both on the exhale lift and on the inhale lower. On the inhale, we're working against gravity, not to just let the dumbbells flop down. Can you have that little imaginary pencil between your shoulders a little bit tighter? And remember the palms come up just shoulder height. Okay, we're gonna come into a tricep kickback, so another hinged move. Butt goes back like you're bringing your chest parallel to the mat. Bring your elbows up in line with your shoulders, pinkies on top, and then lift the dumbbells, press them rather, up to that shoulder height. Imagine you're squeezing that block or that Pilates ball in between your legs. Maybe next time, try holding at the top of that squeeze, pressing your pinkies up for three, two, one. Inhale, slowly lower. Exhale, lift and press. All right. This time is a full circle lateral overhead raise. So palms face forward. And then the, the, the butts of the dumbbells come together. Sorry, I'm having some camera angle issues in here because there's a post over there. So I'm trying to figure out the best way. You could also do this as a wall sit if you're looking for something a little bit spicier. So come into a wall sit, bring the dumbbells up and around. But certainly, not obligatory as it is designed to be an upper body workout. And again, shoulders aren't creeping up as earrings. They're lining their sockets. Okay, the first, the last move rather, is a march and a punch. So as my right knee comes up, my left hand punches overhead. Keeping that core nice and engaged. Slight pelvic tilt. Try to break the plane of your hips with your knee, meaning lift your knee up into your chest higher than your hips. We have one exercise after this. Uh, you can do jumping jacks or you can join me. I was talking about burpees, I got excited. I'm gonna do full burpees all the way down, push up and jump. You do jumping jacks if that's what's right for you. Otherwise, let's go. It's 45 seconds of your life and we can do it so we should.
24 minutes of working out, a warm up, and a cool down. I really suggest stretching maybe for longer than this cool down if you have time. I have a couple of shorter yoga videos on my channel. All right, let's go ahead, bring the right arm across the body. Oh, stretch the bicep, the front of the shoulder. Feels so good. And then switch it out. Other side. Whew, pardon my deep breathing. All right, now bring your arms behind you, interlace your hands, and you're going to use your right hand to guide your left palm to the back of your right hip. So as I do that, I'm hugging that left elbow into my backside body, and I'm using my right hand to just kind of guide the left hand forward. Pardon my rear view. And let's switch it out. You can even switch the grip of your hands, draw your knuckles down towards the mat, and then use your right hand to draw your left hand over to the side. Taking some nice deep breaths in and out. All right, now we're gonna bring arms up overhead. I'm gonna cross my right leg over my left, I'm gonna grab my right wrist, keeping all of my 10 toes as well as both hip points and the fronts of my shoulders facing forward. Just another nice deep stretch for the right shoulder, side body. So the right ribs are twisting towards the back and the left ribs are spiraling up towards the ceiling along with the chest. Okay, let's switch it out. Step the left leg in front. Find the grip of your left forearm with your right hand and begin to spiral your chest up towards the ceiling as you draw your hands and your shoulders back. So the left side body peels back and the right side body is peeled forward. Really nice. All right, now come back to center and we're gonna take it into a tricep stretch. So walking the right fingertips down the mid back, but not pressing yourself, scrunching yourself forward. Keep that chest and the collarbones open and wide and proud. My back isn't swaying. Again, I'm maintaining that base by tucking my tailbone under, pressing the fronts of my hips slightly forward. And let's switch that out. So make sure that the shoulders are drawing back, not pressing you forward, and that you can gaze comfortably forward. You should feel a really nice stretch in the back of the left tricep. All right, one more stretch each side. Bring your arms out like a T. Right arm on the bottom, left arm on top. So cow face arms if you're a yogi. Um, Oh no, I'm sorry, eagle arms. <laughs> um, pressing the palms together, lifting the elbows to shoulder height, and then pulling those elbows out forward for that really nice opening stretch in the upper back. And then just imagine breathing some space into all of those muscles in the backs of your shoulders and your upper back. And then release, kind of give them a little shake. Arms back out like a T. Left arm on the bottom this time, right arm at top on top. Cross at the elbows, um, inner forearms pressed together, palms pressed together. Guide the elbows out, shoulders open. And close your eyes. I just take a few breaths. So again, thank you for working out with me. If there's something you would like to see in, a, in one of the next workouts, drop it in the comments below. If you have any questions, any comments, communicate with me in the comments below. And remember to give the video a thumbs up, like it, share it with anyone you think would enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. My goal is one strength hit type workout a week and one yoga workout a week. All right, until next time, adios, friends.